Well, try and get your hands on a rare book. It isn't always the easiest task. At least it wasn't until now. In the fifth installment of my series, we take you inside the digitization process of the Walters Art Museum, where you can become a tourist for the day, both online and in person. It's one of several volumes. And what's really wonderful about the manuscript is that it was actually um, used throughout the centuries by this, you know, generations of nuns. So they would stand around this book uh, and sing during the masses. These centuries-old rare books are so fragile, they can only be displayed for three months every five years, severely limiting any access to these masterpieces. They're very fragile. It's very difficult to show them for any length of time in the galleries. So most of our manuscripts, and we have close to a thousand, uh, do not get seen by the public. But thanks to technology, the Walters Art Museum in Baltimore has been digitizing its collection since 2008, allowing for unprecedented worldwide public access. This part is where we lay the manuscript open, we put some padding underneath and try to make it as comfortable as possible. Um, and then this is what we call the wedge, um, as you see. It lifts up so that we're able to image one folio at a time. Um, and underneath, you'll see a bunch of little holes, and what that is is actually a vacuum table. So we're able to apply a bit of suction to each, each um, folio to make sure it stays in place while we image. The handwritten collections range from Islamic to Byzantine to Spanish. Digitization specialists are currently working on transferring 112 Flemish manuscripts called the Book of Hours. These personal books of devotion were custom made for wealthy patrons. They not only contained beautiful calligraphy written by scribes, but lavish detailed miniatures painted in jewel-like colors and embellished with gold. So our current grant is to do our Flemish manuscript collection. And these are very highly illuminated, lots of gold and beautiful colors throughout the manuscripts. Before, our, our collection is completely closed. And unless you're a scholar knowing exactly what you're looking for, it's hard to, to see anything from the Walters, unless it's how you happen to be here when it's on display for the, that three months in that specific period of time. Once a manuscript is fully digitized, it's freely available to share online, opening the collection to unrestricted scholarly applications. And if you'd like to view these rare images online, you can log on to the digitalwalters.org. Once again, the digitalwalters.org. Or you can visit art.thewalters.org to see some of the manuscripts in a more colorful, user-friendly website. Once there, just search under Rare Manuscripts.